Okay, uh, last plant today is Hamamelis intermedia, witch hazel. A few good characters for hit witch hazel. One, it has uh, somewhat large leaves, which are variable among cultivars, but there are these uh, coarsely uh, toothed and somewhat undulate uh, leaves, as you can see here. We're getting into early fall color on these guys, and you can see it'll uh, range from these yellows to oranges to these uh, purples and reds. So, and some of the cultivars can be uh, quite striking. The overall habit of uh, witch hazel is this sort of uh, spreading vase-shaped small tree. They get uh, a, a bit larger than, than the one I'm standing in. We're in a fairly shaded spot right here, so it uh, can get larger than this. There is a fair amount of pubescence associated with the underside of the leaves, as well as the stems and the buds, which are kind of unique in that they have these bud scales that are extremely uh, pubescent and fuzzy, and they fold up around uh, the, uh, the, the buds, which will expand uh, next year. Another, and those are vegetative buds. The uh, uh, flower buds are what I, I like to think of them as little fists that are hanging down like this, and they're generally found in threes. They are also very pubescent, and they'll form these uh, produce these strap-like flowers in uh, late winter. So it's at a time when there's not a lot of other things, not a lot of other interest in the garden, and you get these strap-like or ligulate uh, flowers that are produced, and they're uh, from, from anywhere from yellows on up to uh, sort of burnt oranges and, and uh, almost into reds. So very cool, witch hazel. Um, I think it's a, it's a great plant. Oh, one final character is it does have this, uh, uh, this is, is typical of uh, Hamamelodaceae. It has this horned uh, fruit that breaks along these four um, septa or, or, or septum uh, lines here and uh, releases the seed. So Hamamelis intermedia, great tree, good winter interest and, and multi-season interest with this fall color, good foliage during the summer.